Welcome back to the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. I have got uh, one of my rafter logs on here, 20 foot 4 inches. So we're going to see if we can make five or six rafters out of this.
don't know what exactly is going on with the camera. I see it went out, but the camera's still showing on. Um, I just did a lot of cutting here. I made a, a slight adjustment in the way I want to do my rafters. You'll notice here I got four 2x10, 20 foot 4 inches long. Now those are those are massive pieces of wood. Um, in the in the loft area, in the loft area over the garage, there uh, it's going to be cathedral. So to kind of look at it, it's going to go up, you know, kind of in a in a 12-12 pitch, and that means the the slope itself is going to be the the walls of the uh, of the room, at least down to the floor level, and then there will be a collar tie for a flat ceiling up at eight feet. I'll uh, pretty soon I'll actually show you the plans that I'm working from. And so I was thinking about just going ahead and cutting all the rafter stock at you know the two by six like I'm using in the main house because the attic is not insulated. But um, got thinking about these uh, big trees that I'm cutting down here. And in fact, I can get two by tens out of them. I was going to have to fur down or you know kind of build up the the two by six in the in the bonus room loft area in order to get a, a nine inch bat into the uh, into the cavity and so that gives you like an inch airflow over the top of it so I got thinking you know, as many of these two by tens or many of these logs I can get two by tens out of I'll go ahead and cut them and that way I don't have to mess around with furring them down later um, and that will I need about 40 41 of them uh, that log right there yielded four right in one so 10 like that and I can get a couple out of each tree so five nice sized trees and I should be able to get pretty much all of my rafter stock for the garage out of 2 by 10 so that's the plan so that's why you're seeing me do some cutting of some 2 by 10 here uh, the issue is going to be moving them uh, it's not going to be an easy thing so I'm going to try to worm these around and get them onto the uh, onto the dock here or onto my uh, stack of lumber to try to get them drying. I know they'll lose some of the weight in the drying process but when they're coming off of that those uh, uh, wet soggy logs they're they're pretty heavy and so I'll come back when I get set up to do some of these boards and uh, mill out some of this other stuff uh, but, so you stay with me. Okay I've cleaned up a couple of the boards the longer boards I'm getting ready to mill out this two by two by six rafter 